Assalamu alaikum, ya Zubair. Wa alaikum salam, ya brother. How are you? Fine, Zek, and you? I'm good. I don't got my socks on today. Maybe the viewers will be. Wow. Here. Yeah. Well, you know. Anyway, so we're going to do a longer discussion. Yeah. This time, 33rd word, fifth window. Yes, we're continuing from the words, Said Nursi's book, uh, the 33rd word. We have the English edition and the Turkish edition. Yep. So we'll read from the English, and if we need any help with vocabulary, we can also reference the Turkish one. Yep. So I'll read the English, uh, and then after that we will continue on. How does that sound? Sounds good. Drink your tea while I talk, okay? Okay. Ah, okay, now I'm ready to go. It's hot. Wow, it is hot. Yeah. <laughs> so this is good. All right, so ready for a hot discussion, hopefully. Okay. Fifth window. I would prefer it ice cream, but... But anyway. Fifth window. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi rahman ar-rahim. As-salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala 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 Sayyidina Muhammad. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. As-salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad. So, fifth window. We, ha uh, we see that things are particular... We see that things, and particularly living things... Excuse me. It's my native language, but... Sometimes it bears better than me. Uh, because I didn't, I forgot to drink tea while we we're talking. talking. Okay. Please start. So fifth window, we see that things, and particularly living beings, come into existence of a sudden, instantaneously. But while things which appear suddenly out of a simple substance should be simple, formless, and without art, they are created with an art and bounty requiring much skill. They are decorated with painstaking embroideries requiring much time and adorned with wonderful arts requiring many tools. Thus, just as each of these instantaneous wondrous arts and beautiful combinations indicates the necessary existence of an all-wise creator and the unity of his dominicality, so, in their totality, do they show, in most brilliant fashion, an infinitely powerful, infinitely wise, necessarily existent one. So now, O oh stupefied denier, <clears throat> How can you explain this with nature, which is unconscious, impotent, and ignorant, like you? Or do you want to make an infinite mistake and call that all holy maker nature, and on the pretext of naming him that, attribute the miracles of his power to it and perpetuate an impossibility compounded a thousand times over? Over. Yeah. I guess I just proved that I was the impotent one. I can't even speak my own language. So, you won. Won what? Nothing. It's, I guess we're not really competing. You can do it. Okay, that's better. So, anyway, uh, a couple of points that you think need to be emphasized. I'll listen to you while I huh. drink my tea now. Okay. The, the first thing is the first s sentence that I got my attention first. Uh, the things and particularly living beings come into existence of a sudden instantaneously instantaneously this is the, probably the most the hardest word that I could ever spell no I don't I made tea it took a time there was a process as the water was boiling before the tea come before the tea's ready it's a process and then the tea's ready it doesn't just happen instantaneously huh I was talking about the word but yeah okay so, so you are opposing the, this sentence right I, I Let's begin with the living things. Okay. Uh, so, I'm in my mom's womb and, you know, there's a process. I grow from an embryo to this, to that, to this, to this, blah, blah, blah. But you come into existence, you come into, into life at once, right? You cannot half alive. You cannot be half alive. Can you? I, I can't. Well, maybe. You're right. I, okay, I'll give you that one. I, I, but I, actually, I couldn't jump from this example to the process of the tea, actually. Mm -hmm. Let's work on that. I don't think we have to. Hmm. I think the, if the focus is on life, because huh. of the particular it's life. It's a particular living beings. Okay, so... Coming to existence of a sudden, instantaneously. So... Uh, hmm. I think we have to focus on life, and that's how, where we're going a to see butterfly. Sit. It might be composed of a lot of things, a lot of materials, elements, mm -hmm. atoms. But if it is alive, then mm -hmm. it, it, it's sudden. Mm -hmm. Its life is sudden. Huh. Before it, it was alive, it was 
that. Even, it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. even if it's the parts that it's made of took time to come together, yep. the life itself was an instant yep. action. Okay, I can agree with that. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, so the life, it's, so that means... But, the next, but let's add, add something on top of this. And let's carry on the butterfly example. Uh, butterfly carries a lot of beautiful things, arts, decorations, uh, signs, mm -hmm. calculations, blah, 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 right? Mm -hmm. It can fly, it can eat, mm -hmm. smell, breathe, whatever. I, I, I'm not an uh, expert on it. So whatever it can do, it does through its life, not through its composition of materials. Hmm. Yeah. If it's not point. alive, it can't fly. Yep. If you're not alive, you can't talk. I mean, mm -hmm. anything that's alive, yeah, it, it might use its body parts to do that, but its actual yes, you're right. You're right. Actions and arts uh, are based on its life itself. Let's think about a butterfly, which is that, which is not born yet. Mm -hmm. It can't fly. It can't smell. It can't breathe. It can't eat. Blah blah blah. Even if it has all of its body parts. Well, yeah, mostly complete or even close to complete. If it is not alive, it can't move, it can't do anything. As long as it becomes alive, it can do all of this. Mm -hmm. Okay. El Asada. Yeah, huh. Huh. it gains the ability instantly with life. Huh. So, for example, the ability of flying comes into that butterfly of a sudden. Okay. All of the arts and things come in, also come in as a sudden. Huh. The huh. second sentence then. Okay. Uh, actually, it, the ability of flying requires a lot of skills, a lot of calculations, uh, pre-calculated wings, etc., etc. But he's an engineer; he knows. Yeah. Uh, but it be, it happens instantly. Okay. What would you say about this? The, 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 I think this is the, the, this is what the second sentence is about. The opposite thing is if if it is so complicated, you being the engineer. Huh. Yeah. You're the one who would know better. Complicated engineer, long time. So yeah, it should take a long pre-planning process, and yep. it should take uh, the more complicated it is, the longer the uh, the longer it should take for it to be made. It shouldn't come in instantaneously. No. At all. But it does. But it does. All of them does. Okay. Do. So since that is the reality, now since you're the engineer, the more complicated the thing the product can do that shows. How, how great you as an engineer are, or any engineer. Well, yeah. So it shows how great his skill is. So a butterfly's fly, ability to fly is an extremely great ability because you can't make something yes. that can fly. Yes, at least not me. Not, not you, but somebody else might be able to. But yes, he's more I'm a civil engineer. <laughs> well, if you can make people fly, then huh. that might be good. But anyway, it the, <laughs> if you can do it, it shows that you're more skillful. Yeah. But it still takes time to do that. Anyway, so that shows his skill. And the faster he can do it, then shows more skill. Yeah. Okay. All right. And so the, I think this goes pretty good. Uh, yes. While things which appear suddenly out of us, we just con uh, concentrated on the complicated side. Mm -hmm. The... Um, pre-calculated, pre-determined, pre-engineered part of the things. But those things are made of something simple. Let's read the sentence again. Which appears suddenly, things which appear suddenly out of a simple substance should be simple, formless, and without art. Hmm. But, so you read the, sen the rest of the sentence, right? But they aren't. They, they aren't, yeah. They created with an art and beauty requiring much skill. They are decorated with painstaking embroideries requiring much time, blah, 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 blah. So... It's a contradiction. Well, what? what why? According, so what? According to us, it's a contradiction. But so what? So it is a... But I, we can agree that it is, according to our perspective as humans, a contradiction. Well, yeah. Okay. So, so what? Hmm. For what? example, if a, a building company comes to me and... I asked them for a price and time to build a castle for me. It'll take a long time. They'll give you the price. And if, if they say one, one day, they are, they're probably lying. 
Well, hold on. You're right. We, I think we get the example. We don't need to go into too deep. Okay, right. But, you're right. Okay. So what? Is the so thing what? Yeah, so what? Okay, it's a contradiction. We recognize the contradiction. So what? So what? Huh. I think that's the next one. So thus is where the, this is where hmm. it's going to answer. So it's a contradiction. Thus, just as each of these instantaneous wondrous arts and, and beautiful combinations indicates the necessary existence of an all-wise creator, Sani Hakim, Mm -hmm. Okay, creator, actually artist, uh, is mm -hmm. uh, may, mm -hmm. not creator, yeah. more of an artist because it's showing the artwork, not just creating, but creating with art, art. Yeah. and wisdom. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that looks at both the, the, the uh, engineering side mm -hmm. of it and also looks at the uh, skill side of it, the art side. Yeah. Okay, all right, good. And uh, so it shows this and the unity of his dominicality. By the way, Dominicality was Rububiya for anybody who's familiar with the Arabic or Turkish. Yep. So that shows his all uh, So just, I'll start from the beginning. Thus, just as each of these instantaneous, wondrous arts and beautiful combinations indicates the necessary existence of an all wise creator and the unity of his Dominicality, so in their totality do they show in most brilliant fashion an infinitely powerful, infinitely wise, necessarily existent one. Two things. What do each one of them show on their own? The existence of one butterfly, and what does the, all the butterflies together as one group, considering it as one genus, represent? They are two things that are being divided here. Hmm. The first one is a single butterfly. The single butterfly we talked about mm -hmm. through its life mm -hmm. shows uh, that there has to be an all-wise creator, meaning the all-wise uh, artful creator, let's say. Yep. The one who creates with art and wisdom. And it also shows, just through the existence of the one butterfly, the unity of his dominicality. How? Oh. You said, you talked about uh, all the plans that you have to come up, the butterfly, mm. uh, his wings to fly needs to take into account all of the calculations, the wind, the speed, the, the gravity, all the equations that are in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You need to take that into account to make just the wing itself. So? So, that means only the one who knows everything um. can make this one thing. Only the one who knows everything can make the wing itself. Not most of the thing, not, yeah. not, not related to everything. Exactly. Since everything is related with everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it just says, yeah, we've talked about this enough. We don't well, think yeah. we can go into the this details. Is unity. Huh. This shows the unity of his dominicality, that he controls everything, mm -hmm. actually. Huh. When he cr creates a butterfly, his wing. Just the wing. Just the wing, yeah. If we look at the Quranic example, a fly's wing. Yeah, yeah, same yeah, thing. Yeah, right. So. so it matches with the whole universe. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the uh, creator of the, the you know, dom dominicality of this of his its creator mm -hmm. must have the unity. Well, yeah. Yeah, he must control it all. Yes. So th that's what the single butterfly itself shows, mm -hmm. or or fly. However, you want. I mean, if you want to use the Quranic language, there you go. We can use the fly. So anyway, so in their totality, now in their totality, so the entire group of butterflies together as one genus and considering that one thing. So every mm -hmm. butterfly together shows in most brilliant fashion an infinitely powerful, infinitely wise, necessarily existent one. Why? I would say ask that. No, oh, you'd say you're going to ask me. So, so in their totality, they show this infinitely powerful. They show an infinitely wise, necessarily existent one. The, what I can think of, this is basic, and it's probably not going to give all the... It does, it's not going to be the most deserving of answers, but I'll just share it, and then maybe our viewers can help us with this. So, uh, we've talked about it before. All the butterflies are individually different, mm. but we call them butterflies. We can consider that it, we, in their differences, we, they are still the same. Yep. And so, to be able to do that, you need to have the power to... Uh, mm -hmm. Say that they are all butterflies, but at the same time to make them different. Infinitely powerful and infinitely wise. You have to have the power and wisdom to the power to be able to create everything differently, but same, and the wisdom to uh, differentiate. differentiate between them. Yes. Okay. So you need you, you need to know the whole butterfly genus mm -hmm. uh, at once when you create a new one. And what defines a butterfly? And create within those bounds. Yeah. You make the bounds yourself is the thing. Is that's, that's, yes. that's, that's actually going into his dominicality. You, you're making the, def the, the, uh -huh. the boundaries. And it's not just knowing them. It's, uh, yes, you have to know them. But it's that you are making the boundaries. of This is a butterfly. 
And so everything that fits within this group falls into that. And so then you have the individual butterflies too. Is this related with the absoluteness? Yes. S well, if you need to create a butterfly which represents the all other butterflies and the friend at the same time, mm -hmm. you need to cover the whole but butterfly family or the whole butterflies in the universe, which leads to being absolute. Yeah, the, yeah the, yes. When it talks about infinite, infinitely power, full, infinitely wise. So that points to, the, yeah, it points to the absoluteness of it. Okay, so anything with that one? No. No. Oh, now, so now, oh, stupefied denier. What's the Turkish word there? Ey sersen mümkir. Denier, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there you go. Okay. How can you explain this? With nature, which is unconscious, impotent, and ignorant like you, don't take this as an insult. We, this is actually our reality. Yep. We are ignorant, we are impotent, and we are, un uh, in a sense, relatively unconscious. At, at the moment we neglect those facts, mm -hmm. we become ignorant. Actually, we are even right now, because compared to somebody else, I am... You're pushing too much. <laughs> no. No, I'm saying, compared to you, I am ignorant and impotent. I wouldn't say it, that, but yeah. But anyway, but you know what I mean. Yeah, and, e even in my intelligence, mm -hmm. I am ignorant in it. Right now, there's somebody who's smarter than me. Hmm. And so, this is our reality. It's not an insult. Hmm. It's something we have to accept as humans. Hmm. We, we have to accept that we, there is something more than me, and so that makes my intelligence ignorant. Hmm. Hmm. It makes my conscious, you know, however awake I am, there's somebody who's more awake. That makes my conscious unconscious, relatively. Yeah. Okay. Okay? So, let's, don't take it as an insult. Okay. So... Uh, nature is the same, and this means nature is of the same nature as us. Mm -hmm. Just as we are this, it is ah. that. It's of the same nature. It's not an insult. Yep. We are the same of the same thing. We are not absolute, so we have the same thing. Yes, you're right. So I don't think we should take it as an insult. Mm -hmm. uh, or, so, uh, so if that is our nature, mm -hmm. if we are impotent ourselves, nature is of the same nature as us. It's not absolute. And everything that is not absolute also impotent. Is, is the same. Yep, yeah, and right. so just like we say in other discussions, a beggar can't supply another beggar with food. Nature, which is impotent, can't supply anything else with anything. Yes, itself. you're right. Okay, so not an insult. Let's just keep that in mind. Or, next sentence, do you want to make an infinite mistake and call oh. that all-holy maker... Nature. Nature. Do you want to call the all-holy maker... Sani uh, Sani I yep. think it was. Yeah, Sani Imukaddes. Okay, so the maker again, the maker with art. Okay, so we want we're focusing on the artful aspect of infinite this. Infinite mistake. Yes, it is an infinite it mistake. It has to be. He has to be infinite in order to create mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. But if you call it as nature, then you are going to make an infinite mistake. Mm -hmm. Because because of the definition of everything that that, that has been that, that is here it means that there's absolutely no correctness in the statement, hmm. none whatsoever, not even a partial. Uh, we are trying to be the o opposite of the infinite. Yeah, which is infinitely wrong. Yes, exactly. There's there's yes, so good. So and then on the pretext, so on the pretext of naming him nature. So uh, what happens? You attribute the miracles of his power to nature. Mm -hmm. We do. Well, I mean, if we are, the, I mean, we, we do, we can. And per, per, uh, perpetuate an infinite, impossibly compound, an impossibility compounded a thousand times over. Attribute the miracles of his power. Mm -hmm. did, did you read the right Excuse me. At, yes, attribute the miracles of his power to it, mm -hmm. yani to nature. To the nature, yeah. And perpetuate an impossibility compounded a thousand times over. That which is impotent can't could make a miracle. Well, yeah. So, it's just, I think that's pretty simple. We can't attribute anything to nature, just as we can't attribute anything to ourselves. Nature and us go hand in hand. If I give myself some sort of uh, ability to do something, I'm going to give it to nature too. Mm -hmm. I would. Yes, and so, so the thing is actually knowing our reality first, mm -hmm. that I am actually impotent, ignorant, uh, and... Uh, Unconscious, and then nature is no different than me. And understand that everything, in nature, and everything in it is of no difference than me, and so it can't do anything. I have to know my position first. 
That's all I got. Yeah. Thank you very much. Please leave your comments and see you next time. Yes.